Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. Can you believe that I'm back with August monthly favourites? Holy Moses. Now I know that I say this every month, but really, 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 August went by like that. I think it's been so busy with work that literally I come home, I blog, I have my dinner, I wait to go to bed, and that was basically the whole month for me. Did that stop me from trying lots of new products? No, I did not. So without further ado, um, I'm just gonna talk to you about makeup and products and things, because that's what we're here for, isn't it? Yeah, okay. What do I have to tell you about first? Okay, first up, the foundation that I have been loving this month is the Catrice New Delusion Makeup. And this is in the shade 020 Rose Vanilla, which is perfect for me. And this this is what I wanted the Chanel Perfection Lumiere to be. In that, you can't see it on my skin, it gives a really velvety matte glow, but with like a slight satin finish to it. Do you know, the way sometimes you have matte foundations and they leave your face looking really flat. But this gives not flatness, it gives like, just a gorgeous, wonderful glow. It stays on my face almost all day. And cheapest chips, I think it was like 8 49 bought in pennies and can't recommend it enough. Catrice do really good foundations. But this just gives a gorgeous amount of coverage. I've done a blog post on this. I'll leave the link below and you can see before and after photos. But I have it on now. Absolutely love it. Wear it every day. Easy peasy. Buff it into my skin. Happy days. Can't go wrong. We shall do a bit of the hair care. I've been using the Loxitan Repairing Shampoo and Conditioner for dry and damaged hair. Now I have my, I have oily roots and then the end parts are kind of quite dry because I just don't take care of my hair that much at all but I've been using the shampoo, the, the conditioner and the mask, the mask is in the, the shower but these are gorgeous. I have one gripe Loxitan, the shampoo is bigger than the conditioner. This just does not bode well for me and the only reason why I have so much conditioner is because I've been using the hair mask as well like alternate because I'm afraid that I will run out of these before this. Um, this smells deli it smells quite herbally. Let me smell it. And this is really hard to open in the shower. It's like the little teeniest weeniest little thing. But it smells it just has the most wonderful clean smelling herbally scent. What does it say here? Does it say what is in it? So it has five essential oils and I'll tell you what they are because I don't remember. Ylang Ylang, sweet orange, lavender, geranium and angelica. Just smells divine. And so I usually wash. Now what I've been trying to do is wash my hair twice. Like wash, rinse, and then wash again with this. And then I either use the conditioner or the hair mask. And I am left with the swooshiest looking hair ever, ever when I have this. And my hair just feels healthy and it looks healthy. Doesn't it? Look at it. I know. If you've dry or damaged hair, this is definitely worth a go. Absolutely love these. My hair loves these. I love these. Happy days. Thanks very much. And then continuing on the hair team i've got the l'oreal volume tree powder fresh spray sos volume for um fine hair don't have fine hair but you do need a little bit of a joy every now and then and i don't use it solely in the roots i use it like at the ends of the hair like this i do it if i use this in am oh i have to do it with my left hand bit. i use this in my get ready with me i think video i use this very recently and look, it doesn't leave like white residue in the hair, but it just leaves, it gives your hair, when you work it into the roots, it gives it a bit of lift. Now I know that that looks demented, but hold on, let me fix my hair. You know the way if you were getting ready to go out and you wanted to wear your hair up, for me, if I do that, if I wash my hair and then I want to try and put it up, it's my hair gets too silky and it just won't hold. So this gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of grit and, ooh, to fix the hair now, there's too much zhuzh in the hair. I really, really like this and I actually love the whole range. There's a shampoo and conditioner that comes with that but I don't want to get too much into this because I do have a video coming up on all my favourite hair care things, what I am loving right now. Um, but I like that this is small, handbag friendly. We'll go on to the body, shall we? So a few weeks ago I put up a photo of these two guys on Instagram. This is the L'Occitane shower oil with almond oil and then this is the Lake Concentrate, the Milk Concentrate um, body cream. And everybody, I put it up on Instagram and then I put it up on Twitter and Facebook like because I have everything linked. And everyone was going, oh my God, I've loved this for ages and this is my favourite thing. And I was like, I've never even heard of it. Like, why did nobody tell me that it was so good? So I have been trying to ration this. Like, I've gone through this pretty quickly, can I just say. And oh, I just want to... I could just drink this. It just smells really... It has like a really nice soothing scent to it. You know the way sometimes with almonds, it smells like marzipan. And low knows, I do not like marzipan. Not even on cakes, no, I do not. But these smell more like the nutty version, like the nutty side of almonds, rather than the sweet. And so this is the shower gel. And what you do is you 
squirts some onto your little shower puff and you rinse it on door and you like zhuzh it in the shower puff and then it creates lots of lather you wash wash your skin and it leaves your skin feeling really like hydrated and soft and smooth and supple so that's what you do in the shower and then when you get out then you put this on and this smells amazing just wish that you could smell it it smells so soft but not sweet it just it smells kind of nutty slightly earthy joanne says she can get the smell of marzipan off this i can't and i'm telling you if i could i wouldn't be using it honest god but this absorbs into your skin really really quickly and it leaves your skin kind of nice and supple and moisturized and i'm going to when i love things like this it just makes the concept of moisturizing my body coming into autumn and winter when it is freezing in the house more palatable you know because the effort of life but this smells gorgeous so if you're looking to pamper yourself or pamper somebody else then this little set is a really good thing and so on to kind of the more makeup end of things kind of so when I was talking to you about the L'Occitane shower gel okay and then that I put up a picture and everyone was like oh my god I love it I love it and I was like well oh, I've never tried it and I've never even heard of it the same thing happened with this Carmex. Now I know that you know me and I love the lip balms and I need the lip balms because my lips are always so dry. And then in last month's Glossy Box, this came with it. And I was like, oh sure, give it a go. I've always wanted to try it. Oh, where has this been all my life? I'll tell you where it's been. Every time I go to pay in pennies, there's like a little thing and I just never get it. I'm such a failure of my life. So got this and then I bought another one just for backup because I like to have one in my bag and then one by my bedside table and this has just transformed my lips to no end it feels kind of like you not eucalyptus mentholyptus menthol i don't know but there's a kind of slight tingle when you put it on absolutely love it my lips have not been in better shape because of this thanks very much carmex and glossy box for bringing this into my life so can you tell that i'm wearing red lips look i know so i know that i've only had these a couple of weeks so they aren't technically like favorites well they kind of are like i do love them an awful lot um but i just wanted to bring them to your attention these are the maybelline color drama what are they called color drama intense velvet lip pencils and i got four shades of that i think we're gonna get 11 or 8 or 11 i can't remember I keep getting these mixed up with the other next things um but these are the four that i was sent and this one is called in with carl Future Desire, the one that I'm wearing is Light It Up, and then Very Much. I have a blog post that I did, I think it was last week, showing all these on, lots of swatches, lots of face swatches and everything. These are gorgeous! So I have Light It Up at, on at the moment, because I thought that I would do the old flick with the eyeliner and then um, and I have nice red lips. It feels so comfortable on the lips. Now I haven't, like in saying that they're my favourite, I haven't actually ventured to wear them outside of the house yet. So I'm working on this, like this, wearing this in a video, that's kind of close enough to like wearing it outside the house, isn't it? Yeah. These feel, there's still a bit of slip in it, like it doesn't go on and then dry completely. And it does transfer. Does it transfer? Yeah, look, it transfers. So maybe don't be doing any kissing or anything with them on. Wish that was Henry Cavill. Oh, it's a man. Did you, oh, okay, another favourite. Did you see Henry Cavill do the ice water challenge? Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, I digress. That was my favourite thing that I watched on YouTube over the whole month. But these are fantastic. Um, and very much like, do you know what? This was my least favourite out of the four. And yet this was the one that when I did the blog post that everyone was saying, oh my God, it looks gorgeous on you. It looks gorgeous on you. Light up. I, I'm totally, I'm going to buy more of them. Because they're only... Is it 649 or 749? They are such a bargain. I've already been talk of them um, being dupes for the Nars pencils, so I have a couple of those, so I'm gonna do a comparison post soon and, and let you know how I get on. But light it up. If you're looking for a really soft velvet matte red lip, this is the way to go. Oh, they just make me happy. Pencils make me happy. And continuing on with the Maybelline, I'm telling you, Maybelline have been on fire lately. These are the Maybelline Colour Elixirs. I'm really bad at holding them. Um so these are four, I think I was sent six, and these are four of the um the shades that I'm sent and what one is this one this is Alluring Coral absolutely love this one of course you know I'm going to and then this is Blush Essence is it Blush, Blush Essence this is the perfect everyday wear to work colour if you're a bit scared of wearing lips like this which I am absolutely love this Mandarin Raptor don't even need to look at the name because this is gorgeous I wore this to my cousin's wedding a couple of weeks ago lovely and they all feel really moisturising on the lips and then this one is this called something called Signature Scarlet and all I want to do is put this on over that and just see what it looks like. Then I'll go up my face. I don't got her clay. Oh that's nice isn't it? That's really nice. I love these together. 
they feel so comfortable on the lips. These feel so moisturising on the lips and they are an absolute joy to wear. For someone who is a gloss lover like myself, um, can't go wrong and I'm going to be buying more of these. I think if there's a berry one I'm totally going to check that out because I'm very into my berry lips at the moment. And yeah, so these are my four favourites and these are on counters. They're coming in September, I can't remember the date. And I'll leave a link below for the blog post that I did on that. But these are gorgeous! Recently I did a video showing some of the Body Shop's Autumn 2014 collection and these are my favourite bits out of the whole thing. I will leave a link below for that video. And I just did a really smoky autumnal eye look. Loved it, absolutely loved it. But these two shades are my favourite shades. This is cinnamon something, golden cinnamon and what's this one called? Coco Deluxe. God, it's getting really bright. And absolutely love these for like all eye shades because this is a gorgeous look it's like a burnt amber shade absolutely gorgeous on blue green eyes brown eyes even sure and then the cocoa deluxe is perfect for um adding definition but, the, but these are really pigmented really soft easy to work with easy to blend with and i'll leave a link below for the video where i use them and you'll be able to see them in action see how soft how blend blendable how buttery they are happy days and then also i'm loving the smoky what is it called smoky two-in-one gel eyeliner i have it on today oh i just love it it's so easy to work with the formula is really soft slippy and then it sets perfectly and you can get a really cat eye like this look and also this has it comes in the little pot like so and then you can take off the lid and it has a little brush and the brush is really really good for application and second last is this little guy i just love him so much this is the number seven instant radiance highlighter i can't remember if i said this in my last video or not but i just wanted to give her props because this is a gorgeous gorgeous kind of cream to powder highlighter wearing it now you probably can't see it or maybe you can because uh, it's really bloody bright oh my god um see things like this make me happy first of all they're a twist up you don't have to sharpen anything second of all it is petite it means you can hold it and bring it around in your bag third of all oh just application is so easy i just like put a line on dab it with my finger blends into my skin easily use it on the brow bone use it on the cupid's bow down the bridge of your nose if you want to whatever you want to do in a corner happy days i absolutely love this and it's a gorgeous champagne highlighter that you should have i can't wait for when the nights get um darker and you're out and about and you can put this out. highlighter in the winter is the business because everyone is real dark and like real like cozy lighting then you can like lash this on and then you look candlelit and all you did was put makeup on yeah then finally i have to tell you about again i've told you about this loads of times this is the nars dual intensity eyeshadow in himalaya and it's gorgeous. It's the most fabulous, bronzy, pewtery, taupey shade. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely perfect for those. You know the. You know sometimes you just want to, the effort of life is just too much, and you just want to put a wash of color all over your eyelids. This is the one to go for. And you can put it on wet as well. But what I like to do is, I'll take some onto a brush, take it off, and then I'll wet the brush and then apply it on. And. It just gives it a more metallic-y sheen. I love metallics in the autumn. Absolutely love them. And so I got this in Space NK recently. It was 27 euro, but I think I want the burgundy one now as well. I think Mag's got this one as well, because we are pretty much two people, one brain. And she got the same one as me. I got the same one as her. She got hers first. But I love that. It has like a little dinky little mirror, except I feel like I'm Dumbledore's brother when I'm looking in that, because like all you can see is like that one, your one eye. Um, but really, really, really love you. Love you, Himalaya, love you. So non-beauty favourite. I have gotten into watching the originals with Jermaine Klaus and Joanne Rebecca and Jermaine, what's the name, Elijah. So, because I used to love the Vampire Diaries and then they went and they did what they did in the last episode. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but it's for sake, man. Anyway, so I started watching the originals and I have to, this is what happens whenever I start watching something where I have a whole season ahead of me, I go, oh my God, okay, next next okay i'll watch one more so this time i have been really good and i've been trying to ration them out and kind of go okay i'll watch one tonight then i do my blog stuff then another one thing so i'm quite good but the original th it's brilliant i think i'm only about 10 or 11 episodes into it so i have lots to go and also i've been loving the great british bake-off it's so good i think i think your one martha is going to be the final the young girl the builder guy can't remember his name and the older one with the blonde hair she's good i can't remember her name I can't remember. But absolutely love that. That's my Wednesdays sorted in life. What else have we been loving? Oh, back on Slimming World as well. So I've been kind of getting stuck back into that. We did a video last week and um, the Slimming World Mushy Pea Curry. So make sure you check that out. And I'm thinking I might do a chatty 
this has been my Slimming World story so far. If you want to see that, let me know in the links below. We have another video coming with another recipe. So those are the things that I've loved for the month of August. I had a lot to tell you about. I know, I just loved things. But make sure you check out the blog, lovelygirlybits.com, for anything else that I might have loved that I didn't put into this video because I swear to God, this video could be like half an hour long for all the things that I want to tell you about. Thanks a million for watching. I'll see you next time. And as I said, like, video, subscribe, comment, do all of the things and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.